So first of all, you know, just give me the update. How's training going? How are you feeling going into the race? I feel pretty good. You know, I'm healthy. Um, training went very well. Um, and if you have those two, uh, you already got 90% of the, of, the, of the race taken care of. So um, yeah, I'm excited to be here. Every time I show up in New York, man, it's, it's a lot of good energy and excited to be here. And, to show it off on Sunday what we've been working on the last 14 weeks or so. Yeah. So, I feel like a couple of years ago, you know, when you finished uh, in Boston in 2017, that was your fifth. Fourth, fourth, fourth. Yeah. So, I feel like at that point you were sort of flying under the radar, and that was like sort of your breakout. But now, you know, you were fifth in New York a couple of years ago, and you had uh, the third place in Boston this year. I mean, do you feel like you get the love now from like the press and the you know, to be honest, it doesn't matter to me. Yeah. You know, I know what I, what I can do. And uh, if people want to recognize that and, you know, at least, you know, want to talk to me, I'll be happy. But it, it's not going to change anything. You know, for me, it's, it's a bonus if I get an interview from reporters. So, but that, I, I don't, that's not on my agenda. My agenda is just to do very well every single day and I keep improving and people still want to talk to me or they don't talk to me or they just, yeah, it's fun. I, life is too short to worry about things that doesn't really matter. Yeah. And now are you, are you going to be satisfied, like if you talk American, but you're like maybe fifth or sixth, are you going to be satisfied with that? Or so if I finish fifth or sixth or whatever the place is, and, and I know I did everything in my power, and I happen to be a top American, then I would live with that. But if I am only here to just finish as a top American and didn't compete with the best in the world, I'll be very disappointed. Because if that is my mentality, then I should even be here. What do, you, what do you think it's going to take to finish as a top American? How fast do you think that'll take? Um, you just have to run smart and run hard. Seriously, like, we have the best American team and we have the best international field. And so, um, for me, it's just I want to race with the big boys. I want to, I want to, I want to look myself in the mirror and tell my kids. Daddy gave everything here, and this is what we got out of it. I'll be out. I'll be content with it. So, you know, you've got the guy stepping up, he's 43 years old, he's not running more than like 75 miles a week. I mean, what, what do you think he can do? What do you think his chances are? I have no idea. I, honestly, I don't know. I, I don't know what his training went. If I was to give you my opinion, I'd be lying to you. Because I don't know anything about what he's been doing. But I know Lagarde is, is the best American distance runner. That, I'm not going to count him out. you got to be careful with that, you know. He's, if you fall asleep, you'll be shocked. Oh my God, he's gone, he's free. No. So, in that respect, he's, he's tough. But as far as training, what he's done, I have no idea. And so, um, I still, you know, i got to be careful, you know, i got to... Keep an eye on him, you know. I'm not underestimating anyone. So. Could you have trained for a marathon doing that little mileage, like topping out at 75 or something? We're all different, you know. Some people do well with more mileage, some people do well in less mileage. So I don't know. I'll just speak of myself, and I know that if I was going to do 70 miles a week, for me, that may not cut it for me, but it might work for somebody else. Because you know, there's many role, many ways to get the same goal. So, so when, how do you feel your fitness is right now compared to like previous marathons you've done? Is this the best? Is it middle or is it the I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Um, healthy. Um, training has gone very well. Um, Shadi, why do you pick a New York race compared to Chicago? Better, last, fast race. Why have you some of the tougher races to run? Uh, good 
question. I really don't know why. I've never thought about it. Um, do you enjoy the, you enjoy the strategy? Yeah, I think I always like to raise his weight. Yeah, you really compete. You know, you just man or man versus just going into race whereby you just hang in for your dear life and just you know have somebody else, pacemakers, take you all to 30k or whatever. I don't know how long they normally go and then. But again, I'm not saying that in a negative way, but for me, I feel like New York or Boston, you know, those are my type of races where you just go and compete and just the best man win. And um, I have more, I feel like I'm built or I'm prepared well enough to those kind of races. Um, that's the only reason to be honest, to never think about it. Do you feel like, you know, because there's been a lot of talk about Rob Stanley, the American, who's marking 210 and probably lost four years. I mean, do you think if you would put a performance like you did in New York or Boston, put that like Berlin, do you think you could have run 209 or something? Or what do you think that's what? No doubt. I mean, seriously, I know this is a matter of when. But again, you know, I choose New York and I just choose Boston. Um, but again, it's, it's easy to talk. Yeah. Until you, you know, you really run it, then I'm not gonna, you know, speculate too much about it. But I know, in deep inside, that I can run too many. That's that's for sure. Would Bobby bother you though? If you like go through your career and this is the 212 is your PR if you don't go fast and that, but you get like some higher, you know, getting these higher results. Um, at some point, I'm gonna have to go for a fast, a fast course and try to run fast. Yeah. Uh, it's Even just, the U.S. trials. Exactly. Yeah. That's Mary Kay said, "Yeah, that's 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 that's, that's true. Why not?" Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot for the time. Absolutely. Yeah.